Hello and welcome to Destiny Feedback Box from Power. Yes. Sani o follow instructions. Okay, but you are not only a customer. I on all of you to come back to church. Where God sent his only son to die on the cross for us. Yes. And numerous grace is talks about how today we sin, tomorrow we sin, and we continue to sin, yet God continues to forgive us. Mm. And freedom grace talks about I wasn't expecting the crowd that we had today, so um, I was, I'm, I'm actually... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny Feedback Fox Pops. My name is Abigail. My name is Susie. And we bring to you Destiny Feedback Fox Pops. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about 14 days prayers and fasting, Father's Day celebration, and the birthday of our senior pastor, Pastor Richard Afre. My darling, so how did you find service today? As we've mentioned, there was a lot of programs going on today. You know, Father's Day, Pastor Fred's birthday. How was the service for you in general? Um, service today was awesome. I mean, the men leading praises and worship, our yeah. director, our leader. Oh, it was just amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was just definitely. amazing. That's good. So now let's come back to um, the preaching that we heard today. Mm -hmm. What did you take away from it? So Apostle um, talked about who a godly man is. Yeah. So in my notes, I wrote down, Apostle said, a godly man is a man of integrity. Mm. A godly man is a man who takes care of his family. Yes. A godly man is a man who loves God and says his priority right. Mm. Yeah. That is good. Um, before he talked about the godly man, he started off with, because we're doing fasting and prayers, mm -hmm. and the title was God of Visitation, which mm -hmm. we've been doing for the past 14 days. Mm -hmm. um, when Apostle was preaching, he was talking about the man who yeah. sat at the pool of Bethsaida. Yeah. And he has sat there for 38 Eight years, years. Mm -hmm. until Jesus came, mm -hmm. saw him, mm -hmm. and, and then Jesus told him that, get up, walk, and take your mat. Yeah. So like, and then Apostle tried to tell us that people have different perspective of everything because mm -hmm. he saw that I can't get into it because everybody gets in front of me. But Jesus yeah. saw your healing, yeah. which to me communicates that there is perspective of, of certain things that we see. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you may be thinking that what I'm going through is going to be the end of me. But somewhere, yeah. some, somebody somewhere else is just looking at you like, I wish I had your life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, you have to make sure that your vision and the way you see things is aligned with God yeah. so that you're able to make the right choices. That's true. That's good. Now, let's have a look at how the preaching went today. family because they abandoned the family we often seen many men showing up when the children begin begins to excel when the children begins to do well all of a the sudden they show up that's my daughter you know that's my son you know and like this morning i was saying on the radio when they comes they come in a very cunning way say i'm not after your wealth I just want to let you know that I'm your father. <laughs> the last time I checked, my mother didn't drink water. So I know. But they want to, you see what I mean? They want to kind of, can in a way, enter into your life so they can reap where they did not sow. So I wanted to show you that I am, I'm just your father. I'm not after your wealth, not after your money. Just want to say that I'm your father. My question will be, and so... But this morning I said something that as much as it's very difficult to do this, sometimes we try and do it. When they have shown up, they didn't take responsibility, they didn't, they abandoned the family, they went, enjoyed themselves as they want, and, and, and neglected us to carry the burden upon ourselves. Sometimes we do what is expected of us. And even if they are eating or enjoying it, they cannot even feel the taste. 
<laughs> how they wish they would confess and say, I'm very sorry, son, that I did, but they can't even do it because sometimes pride or arrogance will steal them. I'm your father, you know, you can't do that. But you just, the last time, 20 years ago, you ran away, you just showed up. And you want to come and show, show, show your muscles here. But I still say that it is very important that we still do what is expected of us. Man. It's very difficult sometimes knowing the kind of challenge you have gone through this morning. I was saying it. The man didn't take care of He abandoned your mother. Even maybe this pregnancy of you were the reason for the abandonment of the family. But when you still do that, if you come, the Bible says somebody do you evil, okay, and then you do them good. It is like heaping coal of fire upon them. It's not easy. But with the grace of God, we can do it. Sometimes mm. you, as, you, you, you express yourself in that manner. But I would like to say that sometimes our decision and choices may not be pleasant, but we must try to make sure that we ratify them through the grace of God. Children, every child was given to a particular man and a particular woman for a reason. So all the parents here, it's, it's unfortunate that today, the, this morning service, um, it's, it's, women are more than the men here. I would really want the men to hear this and hear it, God. Don't be angry or don't allow the anger or the frustration of the woman that you give birth to or you give birth with to make you re, um, to avoid your responsibility. Don't allow the pain and the hurt or whatever grievances or misunderstanding between you and your partner to let you neglect your duty as a parent. Because one day, either you will see what you have done and regret, or you will see your impact and sacrifices building the family and standing with the family and you'll be proud of yourself as a godly father. I want to end here today because of time by saying that many times, many men allow the pain, the hurt, the disappointment. Thank you for listening and watching today's message. I'm here with Philemon. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. That's great. So after service today, we had an interview, uh, or we interviewed um, a couple of people on how they found today's service and how they found Father's Day and Pastor Afra's birthday celebration. I mean, you were there, Philemon. Um, yeah. How did you find the experience? I found it great, really. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that obviously Pastor touched on that, you know, as men, that we should obviously take in. The fact that we need to be able to take our families and be God-fearing men in general. So, yeah, I like the service. Yeah, that's great. So, okay, you were there, Philemon. How did you find the interview process? I mean, the interview process was all right. Um, it was great, mm -hmm. really. Um, I gave my own two thoughts on obviously the sermon that obviously a pastor gave, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things that obviously I feel that like we could obviously put out there um, for people outside to obviously take in the fact that what pastor is telling us and obviously what he is giving us the word of. Yeah. That's great. So any encouragement for anyone? People I mean, watching? definitely, definitely. I mean, I feel like people should definitely um, try and participate within the interviews more, you know. Mm -hmm. So therefore, people outside the church can see what we as Christians are obviously bringing to the table mm -hmm. and obviously the word that we have been given. That's great. Now let's have a look at the interviews. Hello, Mark. How about to Destiny Feedback Box? What's much I want to say? Yeah, I'm not doing it. We're here, I'll say. That's right, Mr. But you're in your Father's Day. I didn't wish now with the war. I'm a more on what I want to say. But you're in your Father's Day, you know. I'm in my general, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,
Sarah, the bomb was so my mamma, and Panso Motres, so my mamma. It's saying, I miss Uncle Swa and Fanny, our dear Rawum, Uncle Swa, Manny Neddy, no one to me, Fanny, and Yao, Nina, me as a summer woman. Sorry, say, and I have father say, a German in a da, a radiant year be ja, ye yet memman, so woman try yes. Now, yes, so near the yes, so you are more woman. Near ye can say, a ye a yam may, yam ray and was in chair yap a panum, yap a pama so near day, woman so so and no yay. Now, papa be a woo, I won't show a banner, show back now, bass on your day, won't show in me. Thank you. Um, so today being a Father's Day, what's one wish you'd give to our pastors? We're wishing them long life and um, we pray that God keeps on ministering onto them, making sure that they lead his people into his love and grace. Thank you. What is your wish for Pastor Fred because it was his birthday time this week? Oh uh, yeah, um, I wish to Pastor Fred is that he has a um, great birthday and that to all the fathers out there, that God blesses them and blesses them always. Yeah. I want to say happy birthday to Pastor Afre, and I hope he has a wonderful day and his family and his family will enjoy his company. Day to all the men, especially our Apostle, Papa, God bless you for being a father to us and other nations. We bless you in the name of the Lord. And and also, I move on to Father's Day. I hope all the fathers are loved the most today. And I give, and I hope everybody has a wonderful time with their family, especially their dads. And I hope they get, the fathers get a lot of attention. And I want to say Happy Father's Day to my dad as well. And I hope he has a wonderful day. And um, yeah, thank you. Afre, God bless you. Happy birthday. We thank you for all the things you've been doing for the ministry. We love you with the love of God. Happy birthday. Bye. And happy Father's Day to all the men. Happy, happy, happy birthday. God bless you on your day. Wish you all the best um, in health, um, in all areas of your life. And um, just appreciating you for all that you do for us. Thank you. We are fine. Happy birthday, Happy Pastor birthday, Frank. God Pastor bless Frank. you. God, God richly bless you. Amen. 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 Oh, it was wonderful today. I really liked the sermon. It was a whole full of packed with programs, which I least expected. But by the grace of God, everything went so nice, and I was so happy to be here today. Oh, I thank God for the life of our pastor, uh, our fathers. We thank God for their day, and I celebrate their day with them. All that I'm wishing them, I'm wishing them wisdom, I'm wishing them knowledge, I'm wish wishing them counsel, I'm wishing them might, I'm wishing them patience, and I'm wishing them love, love in their marriages, in their walk with God, that they will love God, and then in their walk with God will be so intact to a extent that it will affect the family in the name of Jesus. Well, and today being Father's Day, what's your wish towards our pastors? Alright, first of all, I have to give thanks and praises to Almighty God for His mercies and protection so far. What He has done for, especially we all the men in this uh, ministry. Secondly, uh, my thanks go to our daddy, uh, Justice Kofi Annan. And what I'm saying is that I'm praying that God should give him a long life, protection, and I wish daddy a long uh, life in prosperity as well as, uh, as, well as uh, Father's Day. People every day. I'm not going to do anything. 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 Oh, Pastor Fred has been a pastor. It's untouchable. He has been good in our life since we met him. He has brought a lot of light into our life and we appreciate him. And I was so happy God has took him to the next level. And we pray for God's grace and mercy on his and his family and his entire life. I would like to wish all the fathers in Destiny Apostolic Church 
and all fathers nationwide a happy, 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 blessed Father's Day. My wish for all fathers is that they should lift, um, they should live up to expectation. As the, as the Bible says, God said to Abraham, I have chosen you today to direct the affairs of your household. So if we go biblically, God has got a, a mission for every father. And it's um, about time that we lift up to expectation. It doesn't matter the situation that you find yourself in. And I would like to wish all fathers a very, very, very happy Father's Day. May the Lord enrich them with all the spiritual blessing, the physical blessing, and the emotional blessings that they need in life. I know your Father's Day. I do a photo now. I my Father's Day. What I'm wanting. A photo and my Father's Day. What I'm wanting. They say first. Also, be I don't know my Christo. It's all of my Christa. On a month you'll be a no. Or treat your mouth. Now, Emma, you need so uncle. Your mouth. And yeah, your mouth. Oh, be a. If you're a colleague, you're a youth. You're a youth. You're a youth. You're a fanta. Say your back. You're a phone. You're a rat. You know. If you say no. And the people are a woman. Prayer and one wish for Pastor Fred as he celebrates his birthday. Pastor Fred, I thank God for. Um, this man of God is a man of God I cherish so much. Um, I love his spirit. Uh, I was confessing something to him on Friday and I said, when I went this way, this is what you told me and it kicked my heart and I got up and I began to, you know, pick momentum. And I said, there is something in you that I love so much. And may God continue to use you. Use you for the body of Christ. Because he has a certain kind of charisma, charisma aroma in him. That is, 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 is patience, is long suffering. I, I don't know how to describe it. And I pray for long life for his life. I pray for I pray that the Lord will grant him uh, more 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 grace supernatural grace supernatural oil to be able to affect the body of Christ hallelujah oh. <laughs> And my care for my mamma, for my chimney, I will call Kenuch Mark Pana Amechu. Memme, who to Nuch Mark by Niji, a machine, a beak, a man, a me. Now me call me away. This is a more genuine atometry, and I'm a fair, I'm a commissary, and I may ask, and I may call me be. Take this opportunity to wish our presiding pastor. Uh, Pastor Afre, also a happy birthday and then happy Father's Day as well. Oh, fathers should be attentively and listening to mothers and fathers should play their duties and roles as fathers so that the children will be happy. Every broken home is a disaster. Fathers should be there and I thank God I'm a father too. Happy Father's Day to Thank you. you. Thank you so you much. God bless you. And so today being a Father's Day, what we'll wish would you give to our senior pastors? Um, I just want to wish them a happy, happy Father's Day. They've both been good fathers and um, they've been a great support to all of us. So we appreciate it very much and we want to say God bless them and elevate them and enlarge their coast in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. To be honest, Pastor Fred, I don't know what to say to him. He's, um, he's one in a million, I would say. Um, when I cast my eyes back, uh, when I joined, I joined um, this fellowship about 13 years ago. He was my closest friend. He was the one that was checking on me. I took him as a father, as a leader of the men's fellowship by then. And he was so um, supportive in whatever that I, I, I did. So if today is his birthday, I would say, Pastor Fred, may the Lord enrich you with all the blessings that you want in life. You are such a humble fellow. And because of your humility, 
and your relationship, your encouragement with, with the things of God, may the Lord add, uh, catapult you to the next height of life and, and in ministry. That's what I've said. Also, because one of the few pastors that is so humble, and um, I want to say God bless him so much, and may he continue to be humble as he is, and um, a happy, happy birthday to him. I love you, Pastor Fred. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, Being appointed as the president for Men Fellowship, how does it feel? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I would say um, I'm truly honored to be um, appointed as the Men's Fellowship president. It's a very big honor. And I know that, as I said before, it is really a daunting task, but the God that I serve will see me through. Yeah, I will not allow my emotions to to take over over me. And I, 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 as as I said before, I assure the entire church, I assure um, my predecessors that where they left, I am more than willing and eager to move us to the next chapter. So one wish for Pastor Afra is that he grows from favor to favor, from grace to grace, and that whatever, wherever God wants to take him, he should take him there, and that God should continue to bless him and exalt him, and that God, his blessings should go on to his children and his wife. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, that's it. birthday. Honestly, I some Oh, yeah, Papa Afra. Yeah, yeah, can I say, you're going to be a Eradim favor and bra wofi. Eradim favor and bra or we be seen. Eradim favor and bra or we jimem. That's a free you be a ocean or so. Utu mi show be now what can kind Bible. O ye ni pebi a ye ren can kind Bible. Na humbra see me obedience our ni ye papa denam no. Bible a can no and what denam. So ye be a me shena ye wunu Bible a one. Into my case, I'm in Sirano. I fear what they are calling for you. Now, if you are calling so, I'm ready to na do. Now, when you meet me, now you could run from here. I'm ready to be a man. 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 I'm Nini maso ni na kemi soli ni mwale wala ni seke ni ane bomo chwe wale ni e jole ya ni chwe ni e koi mwale ni e chune mi no fi ano ni e ba wye mwen abole tui no fi ano ni e ba bi mwen abole tui ni e han e soli mo abami ale Happy Father's Day May God bless you all and I hope you have a good day and may God bless you Amen The following announcement will be presented by Clifford and I. Hi, Clifford. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. That's good. How did you find today's service, and what is that one thing that you learned today? Um, I found today's service very impactful. Um, as people that are fathers, they should always be there for their families, and mm. yeah, they should always take care of them and look after them. Okay. Yeah, that's what I learned today. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, let's start on the announcement then. Yeah. Here are three services. English service, which is at 9.30 a.m., Tree service, which is at 12 p.m., and Hackney service, which is at 3 p.m. Then we have My Insure or I Am Less program. Every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Facebook, which is led by Apostle Dr. Justice Kofi Annan. Destiny Change and Prayer, which is on Thursday at 11 a.m. And then we have taken the battle to the enemy's gate on Fridays at 7 p.m. Our prayer lines are from Sunday, 9 p.m., Monday, 11 p.m., Wednesday, 11 p.m. as well, Thursday, 10 p.m., which is Women Fellowship, and Friday, 11 p.m. as well. We have Believers Walk of Faith every Sunday, 9 a.m., Tuesday, 11 a.m., Fridays, 11 a.m. on Gospel Radio UK or Hot Digital UK. Midnight Cry Praise, which is on Tuesday, 12 a.m., which is on Wednesday morning, and Thursday, 12 a.m., which is on Friday morning. Then we have our Bible studies every Tuesday, 7 p.m. on Zoom. And we have Saturday 5 a.m. on our prayer lines. Other programs, Destiny Covenant Partners, raising 100 Covenant Partners. You can call Apostle or WhatsApp him on 0735 
1031. Every year there is an opportunity to travel to the Holy Land, which is entitled Destiny Pilgrimage Tour. You can contact the numbers on the screen to join. Destiny School of Ministry. Study to show yourself approved, which is on 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. To join, you can call 020-85-55-0784 or you can call 079-85-37-8303. Thank you all so much for listening to the announcement and thank you Clifford, it was an amazing doing this with you. It was a pleasure. We hope that you have been enjoying the video so far. But before we go, we just want to wish our senior pastor a very big happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pastor Afrobi. Thank you so much for your love, for your encouragements, for your advices, for your prayer. We would truly appreciate you because you have been such a good leader to us, to all the departments in our church. We say a very big thank you to you. May God continue to bless you and your family. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Happy birthday. We love you and we appreciate you. Now, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, DACIT. TV. And don't forget the notification bell so that you don't miss any video that we post on the daily. God bless you. Hope to see you again next week, same time and same place. Once again, it's Abigail on Destiny Feedback Foxfox. Bye.